Hello, it's an absolutely gorgeous morning and what uh, belongs to a gorgeous morning is a simulation that finished uh, and we can look at how the results from yesterday impacted the overall predictions. Um, of course we know there will be not too much impact because it was all favorites winning and we also know that there are a few teams that are already eliminated so that will show for sure. So I think the surprises will be uh, a little bit on the smaller side today. But at least I can give you a gorgeous background in my opana. Let's have a look at how things stand. Well, I wasn't 100% precise in my intro. Um, there may not have been changes to the expected tournament, as we will see shortly. But there have been a little bit of change-ups here at the beginning. With Spain qualified, they now sail to second place because their qualification is short. So you only have to worry about four more opponents, unlike uh, Spain, uh, Germany, who has to worry about six and can well be eliminated there. Um, technically, Spain is not quite through yet, but we'll see. Uh, it is quite certain. If they would have played a draw yesterday, it would have been a completely different picture. That uh, win was more vital than one might have thought at first. Um, of course, with Spain rising, uh, those three... Germany, Belgium and France are falling. England now flip-flopped Argentina here. And then the rest is all upheavals at this stage. Um, we have now the three uh, teams that are not in the tournament anymore out of the bottom and hence there are some movements up and down. As I've said previously, everything with those small probabilities here or percentages uh, can just happen by random error as well. So let's look at the expected tournament where, yes, we have two teams that are as good, that are qualified, two that are eliminated in Group A. Group B is not as clear yet, thanks to a draw, and you gotta love draws. If there are draws in a group, this usually makes the group a lot more interesting, um, and it avoids scenarios like two pre-qualified teams. Um, before the final day of group play. So I'm always a fan of draws. I know many people don't like draws, but I think having a draw in there usually shakes things up a little bit more. And we can see that Spain, thanks to the victory and thanks to then playing Morocco, is uh, in very good shape, whereas Ir uh, Iran still can eliminate Portugal now. Uh, Iran cannot eliminate Spain. No, yeah, not directly. Not directly. So Spain has it in its own hand, Portugal has a direct duel, and there are more um, possibilities for Spain to qualify than for Portugal. The other groups pretty much look the same as before. We'll sure get some changes today in Group C, maybe more certainty, maybe less certainty. It basically depends on Peru and Australia. And we will also know a lot more about Argentina. Uh, down here, not many changes, and if we look at the three um, I think yesterday I had Japan, <laughs> but uh, a higher due to error. I only corrected the Belgium result. But yeah, uh, there are no changes here, as there were no changes in the standings of the groups. And same down here. We're still looking at a Spain versus Brazil final with the France Brazil semi final and a Spain England semi final. So we'll see how it will go. Let me know what you think about these projections. Um, I might add a fourth rating that I finally found. So um, by tomorrow there might be a little bit more changes. I don't think it will be um, any significant changes. But then I'm finally set at where I want it to be and it should be a little bit more stable. With all that, let me know in the comments what you think uh, about these predictions, how you think the tournament will go. And I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.